Good friends, I am Dr. A.S.K. Gupta and I am going to talk to you how to do the first trimester ultrasound. Now you can see bladder of this patient is empty and uh, this is the uterus and this is the gestational sac. The gestational sac is not very well visualized because the uterus uh, is hidden behind the abdominal structure and once the urinary become, bladder becomes full, there is a good acoustic window. So ask the patient to wait and let us see how does the uterus appear once the patient is full bladder. And this is the beautiful gestational sac which is very well seen and because the bladder is now full. And inside the gestation sac you can see that there is a fetal pole and just behind the fetal pole or maybe just adjacent to the fetal pole you can see there is a spherical structure. This spherical structure is nothing but the yolk sac. Usually, usually the yolk sac is visible beyond around 6-7 seven, uh, seven weeks of gestation and yolk sac should not be more than 6 millimeters in diameter. Sometimes the yolk sac might be visible in just two lines. And this is the fetal pole and you can see that the fetal pole occupies a significant portion of the gestational sac. And inside the fetal pole you are first likely to see the cardiac activity. But before that you should measure the crown rump length. It is very important that you should not include the yolk sac in the measurement of the crown rump length. Sometimes it might be difficult, especially in the pregnancies in early 7 to 8 weeks of gestation to know the exact position of the crown and the rump, but really good, nearly good position should be measured and the crown rump length is the best way to find the gestational age. After you have measured the crown rump length, light to try to look for the cardiac activity and you can see that this is the beating heart. Sometimes it might be difficult because the entire image is simmering, but this is a rhythmical fast beating heart inside the fetal pole and this is the cardiac activity. Now we should measure the heart rate. To measure the heart rate, take the cursor at the cardiac activity and use the M mode examination. If you use the power doppler which is very tempting, then you are likely to harm the fetus because it gives a good energy strong energy to the fetal heart which might be harmful by doing the M mode you are you can measure the heart rate very well sometimes it might be difficult and you can see the undulations and from only one undulation to another to the another one is the heart rate and the heart rate if it is less than 90 beats per minute then it is going to be have a bad prognostic significance for the fetus Usually the heart rate in the first trimester should be 120 to 160 beats per minute. If you happen to use the power doppler, it is not suggested, it is not recommended. But if at all you happen to use the power doppler, use it only for a very short period of time, only 2 to 3 beats of the heart so that you can measure the heart rate. Once you have seen the fetus, fetal pole, the yolk sac and measure the heart rate, do not forget to look for the ovaries and here you can in the right ovary you see that there is a cystic structure which is surrounded by a ring of fire sometimes the ring of fire may not be visible very well because for a ring of fire to be seen in the corpus luteal cyst a good doppler is required and this as i said is the corpus luteal cyst corpus luteal cyst can be present in either of the ovary but it is always on one side it is on the side from where the ovum has come out and so this is the corpus luteal cyst here you can see that the chorionic reaction is good and regular and all around the gestational sac it is a healthy pregnancy and the sac is regular in shape. You should not forget to look for the another sac because sometimes having seen one sac might bluff you and there might be another small sac in the uterus giving rise to the twin pregnancy but here in this patient we found that there was only one sac. I hope you like this video. In case you like it, please do not forget to share it among your friends. Do subscribe to our channel and do not forget to press the like button. Thank you very much.